guys and welcome to my channel Simply Maggie. I am going to show you today how to make these cute little mushrooms. They're crochet mushrooms and they're very easy to make, super quick. You can use them as just decoration in your home. Um, you can make a garland. You can use them as like a keychain on your keys or your purse or your backpack for school. I think they're super cute and each one kind of comes out a little bit different even though it's the same pattern for each one. You can make them um, shorter or taller or you can use different colors. I chose to do just a neutral but you could also do like a brown top or a red top and now I'm getting dark again. That's better. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get right into this tutorial. The mushrooms just want to steal the light from me. The yarn I'm using today is um, I believe this is Lion Brand Kobu yarn, and this is just some random worsted weight yarn that I had laying around. That's what's nice about this project. You can kind of use up some scraps that you have laying around and do whatever colors you want. I, I chose to keep it neutral. So this is for the base, the stem, and then this is for the cap or the top of the mushroom. The other thing you're going to need is a crochet hook. I'm using a three, I'm sorry, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And then you're gonna need obviously some scissors. And then for the end of the project, we're gonna weave in our ends with a yarn needle. And that's it. We're going to make a magic circle to start the base of the mushroom. And to do that, you wanna lay the yarn across your fingers, hold onto the yarn with your thumb, wrap it around either two or three of your fingers so that it crosses right under your thumb. And then I just kind of like to hold it with my pinky, keep it in place. And then you're gonna take your hook, insert your crochet hook into the loop, grab onto that working yarn and pull it through, and then yarn over, pull through, and then you're gonna chain one. So while you're still holding onto both of those, the end and the working yarn, you're gonna yarn over again and chain one. Okay, so now you don't wanna let this loop um, kind of untwist or untie there. So you wanna hold on to this loop while you're working with your working yarn. So I like to do it just like this. So I put my two fingers in there to keep it open and easy to work with. And then I have my working yarn, how I like to hold it. So the next thing you're going to do after you have your chain one is to work 10 single crochet into the center of this magic loop. So insert your hook into the, into the loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And you don't have to make these too tight because the tighter you do them, the harder it's going to be to work the first round. So that was two. You want to do eight more. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, three, eight, nine, and last one, ten. The next thing you can do is let go of your loop here and your working yarn, find the tail, and you're gonna pull that to cinch it closed. Next, we are going to work one single crochet into every stitch, so 10 stitches. So you find your first one here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two. That was one. Find your next stitch here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Do that eight more times. After you've done your 10 single crochet, you're gonna slip stitch into the first stitch. So find that first one, which is right here. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then pull that right through that stitch on your hook. And then you'll, you'll chain one 
yarn over and pull through. So for round two through 14, we're gonna do one single crochet into every stitch. So that's 10 stitches, just like the last round. And you're gonna do that, like I said, until you have 14 rounds or until you have the length of stem that you prefer. And you might have to, what I like to do is start to kind of fold this in half so that these stitches don't tend to go into the middle of the stem and they're kind of sticking up so you can get your needle in there. So I've completed my mushroom stem. So for round 15, we're gonna do, we're gonna be working in the front loop only of these stitches. So you're not gonna go through both like that. You're gonna go through just the front loop, which might be kind of tricky, but just take your time. And we're gonna do two single crochet into the first stitch. I've already slip stitched into my first one and chained one. So now we're gonna do two single crochet into only the front loop into this stitch here. That's one. And into the same one, two. The next stitch we're gonna do one single crochet into the front loop only, single crochet. And then the next one we're gonna do two. So we're gonna do two into this one. That's one, two, and then one into the next one. Same here. We're gonna re repeat that around until we have a total of 15 stitches. So the next one you're gonna do two. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're not going to we're not going to slip stitch or chain one. We're just going to go right into that next stitch and we're going to do for round 16 two single crochet into the first stitch. Both loops, not just the front loop. Two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next two stitches. This will make a total of 20 stitches. Two into the first one, go under both loops. One and then two single crochets. Three, four. Again, two single crochet into one stitch. This is five and six. Two single crochet and then, or then two single crochets. So one into the next two stitches. Seven, eight. Repeat this until you have 20 stitches. nine, 10. We're gonna do two single crochet and then one single crochet into the next three stitches and then we're gonna repeat that around to make 25. One, two, three, Four, five, repeat that again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten,
the next round, which is round 18, you're going to make 30 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, and then in the next four stitches, you'll do one single crochet. Okay, we have one more round, round 19. We're gonna do two single crochet into the first stitch, and we're gonna do one single crochet into the next five stitches. This will make 36 stitches. We'll make 35, and then we'll do one extra to make 36. Two into the first one. And we're gonna do one into the next five. One, two, three, four, five. So that was two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna repeat that until we have 30, uh, 35 stitches. So we have our last single crochet and then we're gonna do one more single crochet to make 36. So this is what it should look like. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out just a bit. We're gonna cut the end. I'm gonna set that aside for now and we're gonna move on to making the top of our mushroom. So we're starting with our second color here for the top of the mushroom. We're gonna do the same thing with a magic circle. So wrap it around. You're gonna insert your hook into the magic circle. You're gonna yarn over with the working yarn, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook to chain one. The next thing you're gonna do is make six single crochet into the magic circle. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's one single crochet. You wanna make six total. Grab the tail and pull that to cinch it closed. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to put two single crochet into every stitch. So we'll start with our first stitch here, which this yarn is a little bit tricky because it can split. So I'm just gonna help myself out with my thumb. Yarn over, do a single crochet. And then we're gonna do one more into that same stitch. Two. Two into the next one. One, two, so that's four. We need 12 stitches, two into the next one, five, six, two into the next one, seven, eight. Next, we're gonna do two single crochet into the first stitch and one into the next stitch and repeat that all the way around until you have 18 stitches. Two into the first one, one into the next one to make three. Repeat that all the way around until you have 18. Four, five, six, seven. The next round, we are going to do two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next two stitches to make 24 stitches. One, two, and then one single crochet into the next two. That's three and four. Again, repeat that all the way around until you have 24 stitches. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. For our next round, which is round six, we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet 
into the next three stitches. Repeat all the way around until you have 30 stitches. So two into the first one. One, two, and then we're gonna do a single crochet into the next three stitches. Three, four, five. Repeat that all the way around until you have 30 stitches. 30. Now we're gonna move on to round seven, which is again, two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next three stitches. This will make 36 stitches. One, two, one single crochet into the next three stitches. And then repeat that all the way around to make 36 stitches. So now that we've completed that round, round eight is going to be just one single crochet into every single stitch around. So there we have the top of our mushroom. Now we're gonna go ahead and secure it to the bottom of our mushroom. So don't cut this yarn here. We're gonna use that as the working yarn. You wanna take your yarn needle and go ahead and weave in this end here on the top of the stem. I like to just kind of go through here and then kind of back where it came from. And then I'm just gonna kind of stick it through a few of these little stitches here just to secure it. I'm just gonna stuff it down in there you could trim it if you want. I'm just gonna leave it in there. This one, I'm gonna do through the bottom. So we're just gonna place the top of the mushroom on top of the stem here. And I'm also gonna push this little tail inside. And then we're gonna begin crocheting into both the edge of the top and the edge of the stem. So take your crochet hook and go through this little stitch here and also this stitch. Yarn over and pull through and then slip stitch right into the stitch on your hook. And you're gonna do that all the way around. So into the next stitch in both the top and the stem. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull right through the stitch on your hook. Okay, so we're coming up on our last stitch here, our last slip stitch. Now you can go ahead and pull that yarn out just a bit and then cut it. I'm going to take my um, yarn needle And I'm just gonna go through this stitch here, this way. You can do this however you want. You're really not gonna be able to see it. And then back through there. To 
tighten that a bit. And then I'm just going to weave it into here and pull it all the way through. You can weave it through some more stitches if you want. I'm just going to poke it right through, pull on that, trim it up, and that's that. You could stuff these if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary because it's kind of a tight stitch so it stays the shape that it's supposed to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I will have a link in the description box down below as well, just so you can go to my website and see more pictures that might be helpful for you. And I'll have the written pattern also on my website. So if you wanna go follow that instead of following the video or after you watch the video, um, that will be down there for you. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.